I didn't have enough fake blood, so I had to save up my own and my wife's and my dog's. Okay, so, Adam Chaplin. Right from the start, this movie sets the tone with heads being punched off. Terrible looking CG effects mixed with good looking practical effects, which I will never understand. If you have good looking practical effects, then you don't need to cover them up with shit CG. Oh well. The movie is very blue. Basically every scene the color grading is turned to full blue. Kinda like The Matrix had its own color, so does this movie. So the movie starts out with a flashback to our main character's wife. Having not paid back a debt, she is burned to death by this guy that looks like a literal monster. We will find out more about him later. His name is Denny. He looks kinda cool though. And his teeth are beautiful. And that's as much setup as we need for one of these types of movies. For the husband to have a reason to get revenge and kill the bad guys. This movie is very much a vanity project for the director. He plays as the titular Adam, the main character. And there are quite a few scenes where he has his shirt off or his abs exposed. Which is, whatever. If you directed the movie, then do your thing, I guess. Adam is possessed by some kind of demon, which we do get to see a few times. Sometimes the upside down cross on his back shoots out blood, signifying that the demon has taken over. His eyes turn white his voice is distorted, and he has superhuman strength and speed. This is him kicking someone's face. Then, most of this dude's head is missing, but Adam is still asking him questions. I don't know, maybe I should have put this one on my goriest movies list too. This is a dog. Okay, moving on. We find out that the demon has told Adam that if he gets revenge on the monster man, Denny, that he will be able to see his wife again. The demon says, Only hatred can lead you in this story. If you thrive on it, any road will lead you to him. Which is a pretty good summary of this movie. Thanks, demon. Look at these guys talking in the street. They look like zombies, but I guess they're supposed to be bombs? I don't know. Next, we go to the police station, which have recruited this guy Mike. He has wrestling paint for some reason, and looks like his face is made out of silly putty. Mike is apparently some badass killer, so they tell him they have damning information on him and blackmail him into going after Adam. We find out a little more backstory on the monster guy, Denny. He says he owns the city, I guess financially? He explains that he has a condition that he has been getting injections for since he was nine. That is why his face looks like ground beef. Oh, also, his dog ripped his face off when he was little. That's why he wears the mask now. Possible epic face reveal at the end? You will just have to wait and see. I thought this low budget elevator was pretty funny. I mean, there's no reason they couldn't have shot this in a real elevator, right? Mike tracks down Adam, and of course, they have to fight to the death. Adam kills Mike with no problem at all, with some extreme fast punching. And this car smash. In the next scene, Adam impales one of Denny's sons through the butthole. And that's pretty much the whole scene, so moving on. Now, we get a flashback to try and explain a little more the reason why Adam has the demon. 
While Adam was in the hospital where his wife was dying, the demon just shows up. So no, we don't really get a reason why the demon is attached to him. I think it might be something about him losing his faith, but it doesn't really elaborate. Now we go to the climax of the movie. Monster Guy, his other son, and some goons show up for a rooftop battle. There is a gas leak which immediately kills most of the goons and leaves Monster Guy, his other son, and Adam. There he is, our hero, walking into battle like a true champion. He quickly dispatches the rest of the goons with no problem at all. None of them even hit him once. I'm not sure why, even though he can do this, he still hides from the gunfire. Next, Adam shoots Monster Guy's son's arm off, then explodes him in half with a punch. Then, Monster Man Denny and Adam fight. Adam gets him with a rip your ribs out move cause he's so fast. Then some more real fast punches. Then he telekinetically rips his throat out. And followed by some more fast punches. For the final blow, Adam uses the stake that Monster Guy's son is still attached to and explodes him with it. Sorry guys, no face reveal. The demon lets Adam die at the end, so he is technically letting him see his wife again. Just for a second though. Okay, so if you guys are in for some ridiculous, over-the-top blood, guts, and action, then this movie has it. It's not great, but it's decent for what it is. It's fun. Hope you guys liked this review. I had fun making it. If you did enjoy it, then please leave a like. And subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for watching.